Hello, Leo, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I certainly appreciate both your viewership as well as your subscriptions, Leo. So what I'd like to do, Leo, is to give you a Russian gypsy reading. As you see before you, I've already um, shuffled the deck and assembled your pictures for brevity, for the sake of brevity purposes. Okay? Now, Leos, we're not going to focus on one specific aspect of your life. I'm just going to share with you whatever it is that the pictures would like you to know. And this reading is valid until the end of April. Rest assured, ladies and gentlemen, that this reading, as with any other reading, simply will not and may not resonate with each and every one of you out there. But for those for whom this reading is meant, I certainly hope it offers you the valuable information that you're seeking so that you can at least ice retain your best decisions moving forward. Okay. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to just start off by just sharing a few things about this reading so that you can understand. Because unlike tarot, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see with the cards here, these, these cards appear to be, they're, they're like a mental type thing, you know? It's almost like as if you're assembling a puzzle, okay? So unlike tarot, tarot, tarot usually has both an upright and inverted type interpretations. With these cards, ladies and gentlemen, there are four interpretations depending upon the orientation in which the picture falls here, okay? Usually the first two positions tends to be the very strongest, and then as it descends to the third and fourth, the interpretation weakens, okay? Usually for more positive cards, but sometimes it, it benefits negative pictures, okay? So let's go on and get started, ladies and gentlemen, and just take a peek here and just look at your... Um, the first picture here that shows here in your reading, okay? We have the horse here, all right? So with having that horse there, that falls in position four, ladies and gentlemen. So the horse brings about emotional upheavals of all sorts here. So it certainly seems that as the horse struts and frets, if you will, he certainly, he's going to, this horse is suggesting that your feelings in some way are going to be stepped upon. It looks like a lover. It's possible, ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting that a lover is going to do something that is going to hurt you in some way. But this would be nothing that you could, you could do to avoid. It could be a lover or it could be a friend or it could be someone at your job here. And I'm kind of getting that if it's a, a friend or someone at your co-worker, it's probably someone that you really can't trust anyway. All right. But let's go on and just get into the other pictures here just to see, to gain more insight into what these cards are telling us here. Okay. We, ha we do next have the money card there. So this should be a very welcoming picture to see for many of you, particularly if you've been concerned about money. So as I've indicated, this reading is battled until the end of April here. So it shows that many of you might already know that you're going to be receiving a substantial amount of money. And it could come from various sources, ladies and gentlemen, to include, but not limited to maybe perhaps a tax refund. It could be a settlement, a commission, or potentially a bonus, but whatever it is, it's going to certainly make you happy. Okay. All right. So let's go on and just look at your next picture here. We have the lily. All right. So, all right then. So with having that lily there and that ladies and gentlemen falls in position four there, that's giving me a strong indication here that because this car is all about faithfulness here. Okay. And it all it's all about, you know, when people tend to have these useless doubts about someone's faithfulness and perhaps jealousy might be the, the, the biggest corporate that might cause you to feel this way here. 
So spirit is telling me here. Now, I do remember that we had this horse there saying that someone is going to trample on you. And I said someone you can't trust. I don't believe it's a lover here. I think it's someone in your, um, in your, like your social circle, like it could be a coworker, but I just want you to be alert, Leo. Otherwise, you know, it, it is someone you can't trust here. But with having that card there in, in, in the fourth position, that tells me that Spirit is saying that your jealousy is nothing here. And it seems that someone appears to be, or you're thinking that someone is faithful, for, of course, an individual with whom you are dealing here. Okay, but Spirit is saying that not necessarily. Now, Leo's, this might well be you, you know, doing this or just... You know, because you're doing something or you have various side pieces that's causing you to feel this way. But I'm seeing here that this, perhaps this lover might even hang with, you know, people of the opposite sex and they're just friends or whatever. And, and your jealousy might be getting in the way of this. I'm feeling it's with someone older I'm seeing. I'm seeing an older person here in this reading. Okay. Let's go right along, ladies and gentlemen, and move right along to... Looking at your next picture here, we have, which one I'm going to look at this time? Let's see here. You have the pig there, okay? So with having that pig there, ladies and gentlemen, you know, you have that in second position. So this is all about earthly pleasures. It's certainly all about sexual pleasures here. So you guys are going to be sexually satisfied, I'm seeing, during this time period. And Spirit is certainly telling you to enjoy what you've accomplished, too, as well. And what you have. Spirit wants you, ladies and gentlemen, to make some effort to living in this moment. Okay? And then you have here this bouquet which is a lovely picture to see as well here because Leo's, this is in position one here. So this shows happiness and it shows great success. And it certainly shows Leo's that you've got the Midas touch. All right. So now let's go on and just re-examine all of the pictures. Okay. Well, actually, we didn't look at the... Um, Yeah, we, we did, we examined that picture there. Yeah, I just want to make sure that I haven't missed anything here. Okay. All right, so now let's move right along, ladies and gentlemen, and just look at your last card here and just to see what final message Spirit would like you to know here. We have, this is your last card here. We have the firewood there. So with the firewood, that is all about our physical health. And it shows that, particularly for those of you who are concerned about health problems or issues, it's showing you that your health is going to be quite stable during this time period. And once again, if you, you've been worrying, your worries are unfounded. And then we have the forest there. And so with having the forest, it shows that you guys are going to continue to meet friends who mirror your own experience, who are worthwhile, who are good influences on you, you know, which is very good. It's a change for the better, right? And then, ladies and gentlemen, you certainly have this fox creeping here right on up there. And, of course, you know, foxes are all about deception. And they tend to use flattery to kind of get whatever it is that they want. And for those of you, I'm sure you've known it, you've, you've perhaps read this, you know, Aesop's fable, the fox and the cow here. You see all of that cunningness that's, that went on in there. So just beware, as I've indicated to you, it does seem to be that someone is acting very sly around you. They're trying to deceive you, but it's done in a very, very sly way here. As I said here, the cards doesn't really suggest that it's a lover here because you have that lily card there in that position, you know, but it all, it could be with someone new with whom you've connected. Okay. I don't feel that it's with someone existing 
or it could just be in your work circle or just someone that uh, someone who has just come into your circle okay and those are your cards ladies and gentlemen that we've reviewed there okay you have the forest and you do ladies and gentlemen you also have that devil card there so you know when you have that card um, there it kind of gives an added message if you will to your whole situation there because the devil can connect in a variety of ways well you know they we can refer to it as a demon or you can refer to it you know as a devil okay so it's all about you know you your subconscious and how you think here and so if you're thinking or or just feeling that someone is trying to or is going to harm you i don't i don't see that that's going to happen it seems that greed jealousy or doubt is is probably getting in your way here Okay, and they're not a really true reflection of what's really going on in your situation that that spirit is kind of telling me here. So with that said, Leos, that completes your uh, gypsy reading. I hope it has added volume uh, to your situation and, and giving you some more insight. So what I'd like to do in closing is to leave you with four final messages, ladies and gentlemen, on how you could inject a bit more resiliency, inject a bit more kindness and love into your situation, okay? For your highest good, Spirit revealed to me four messages to share with Leos in regards to their situation. Leos, keep in mind that this reading is valid until the end of April. Should any of you wishes to have a more personalized reading, there is a $15 discount offer shown on my website with which you can apply to any of the readings there or you can certainly apply it to a more customized reading based on your requests okay so spirit give me four final messages start with the bottom card here ladies and gentlemen abide okay leos what does it mean to abandon yourself you neglect yourself in order to please others. You are quiet so you don't rock the boat. You don't eat when you're hungry. You don't take a break when you need to rest. You change your appearance to get respect. The false self gives in to the temptation to prove its worth. Love yourself like God loves you, abidingly, no matter what. Stay with your inner child. Stand by your brilliance. You are a child of the infinite. Act accordingly. Next message. Courage, my love. We dance round fires to pray for others to change. And we change our names so that a reality we don't truly want will let us in the door. When we should be burning fears, tattooing our declarations and praying for the courage to ride the turn of truest potential. Next message. What's your antidote? Be the calm in the storm. Be the wisdom that waits patiently outside the hysterics. When everyone is hurling insults, Find the one reason to be compassionate for everyone involved. The base ingredient in all anecdotes is love. And we have that in infinite supply. And last message today, Leos, be still. Understand that stillness is not the absence of movement. It's a focus on the present. If you become still more often and you look inward, you will see that your heart is as open as the sky. So with that said, Leos, this is your reading. 
Again, please give it a big thumbs up, share with others to whom you think might benefit, and be sure to press that subscription button. Bye for now. Thanks a lot.